This is 219 News Now, brought to you by Strachan Van Til, making lives easier for 94 years. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this is your 219 News Now. The removal of an LGBTQ-themed flag from a Valparaiso High School classroom led to a packed school board meeting. Community members spoke mostly against the removal of the pride flag that included the words, all are welcome here. Superintendent Jim McCall said that learning should be in a neutral classroom environment. Parent Adam Gibson said, I'm not convinced you can support LGBTQ students while prohibiting visible symbols of support. School board member and mayor-elect John Costas supported the administration's decision to remove the flag. Police say a two-year-old boy was fatally shot by his three-year-old brother in Gary over the weekend. Lake County Coroner David Pastrick said Samir Gill was pronounced dead after suffering a gunshot wound to the head. Reports are that the three-year-old found the gun in his mother's purse. Mayor Jerome Prince and Gary Police Chief Anthony Titus released a joint statement to offer condolences to the family and remind residents that free gun locks are available at the Gary Police Station. 18 Hammond gas stations have asked for exceptions to the city's mandatory overnight closure just two weeks after the ordinance took effect. Mayor Thomas McDermott introduced legislation to force gas stations to close between midnight and 5 a.m. after 33-year-old Ronnie Martin was shot and killed at the Luke gas station on State Line. Gas stations can petition the Board of Works to stay open. Hammond Corporate Counsel Kevin Smith says that the Board of Works has approved nine petitions so far. And in sports, we had a two-overtime thriller in the 6A semi-state on Friday. Crown Point defeated Westfield 38-31 in front of the largest home crowds the Hub City has seen. Here's Sam Michael of Jed TV on the IHSA Network with the call of the winning touchdown by quarterback Noah Ehrlich. Second in goal from the two-and-a-half yard line. Ehrlich a design run, trying to get to the end zone. He's hit. Second efforts, looking for the goal line. He is in for the touchdown. Ehrlich finished 15 of 23 for 167 yards passing. Running back Larry Ellison rushed for 171 yards on 38 carries. The Bulldogs will take on Ben Davis at 6 p.m. Central Time Saturday night at Lucas Oil Stadium for the Class 6A state championship. You can watch on the IHSAA Champions Network or listen on AM 1230 WJOB. For all other local headlines, make your way to NWI.com. I'm Andrew Garcia, and this has been your 219 News Now.